From the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Tuesday, February 27th of 2024. I'm Amy Rose. This is what's going on. A Rapid City resident has been sentenced to 75 years in prison for the shooting and killing of Myron Blaine Poirier at the Grand Gateway Hotel in March of 2022. 19-year-old Quincy Barrow pleaded guilty in October to a reduced charge of manslaughter and accepted the terms of a plea agreement. The state of South Dakota sought a maximum sentence of 75 years with 10 years suspended as part of the agreement and all remaining charges against Bear Robe were dismissed. The South Dakota Department of Transportation will hold a pre-construction information meeting to share project details about the U.S. Highway 385 construction project scheduled for 2024 to 2026. Kevin Phillips has the details. The meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, March 12th from 4 to 7 p.m. at Rimrock Church. The open house style meeting will be informal, consisting of a pre-recorded presentation and one-on-one discussion with the project team. The goal of this meeting is to share overall construction phasing plans and share specific information about the 2024 construction season, and that begins in March. This year's construction season will include significant traffic impacts, including full road closures. In national and international news, with less than four days remaining until a crucial deadline to extend federal funding, Congress has begun the formal process of preparing for a partial government shutdown. Despite discussions around a potential bipartisan spending agreement, significant disagreements persist at the highest levels regarding aid to Ukraine and border security, among other policy matters. Republican House Speaker Mike Johnson faces mounting pressure from the conservative faction within his party to prioritize their agenda, a task unlikely to be swiftly resolved. Should a short-term deal fail to materialize by Friday, Several departments, comprising approximately 20 percent of the federal government, will exhaust their funding. This would have an immediate impact on vital agencies such as agriculture, energy, transportation, veterans affairs, and housing and urban development, along with the FDA and critical initiatives like military construction. President Joe Biden said he hopes there will be a ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas conflict by next Monday. Kevin Phillips has more. President Biden expressed his optimism for a ceasefire in the Israeli-Hamas conflict, aiming for progress by next Monday. In ongoing negotiations, Hamas has reportedly softened certain demands, edging closer to an initial agreement that could halt hostilities and potentially lead to the release of Israeli hostages. In the United States, attention is focused on the Michigan primary today, seen partly as a gauge of Biden's stance on refraining from calling for a Gaza ceasefire. The president's staunch support for Israel has provoked criticism from a significant segment of American progressives, including many Jewish and Arab Americans, particularly in the Dearborn area of Michigan, home to a substantial Arab American population. This dissatisfaction has spurred a statewide movement among Democratic opponents of Israel, urging voters to select uncommitted on their ballots. The historic U.S. moon mission that touched down on the lunar surface on Thursday is coming to an early end. Odysseus became the first U.S.-made spacecraft to land on the moon since the Apollo era, but flight controllers now expect to lose contact with the moon lander in the coming hours as communicating with the spacecraft has proven challenging. In the meantime, grainy images were shared by Intuitive Machines, the company that developed Odysseus, after the craft's rough landing limited its ability to collect and send data. Separately, Japan's moon sniper miraculously woke up on the lunar surface this week after being dormant for most of the month and transmitted new images to Earth. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center. Today, scattered snow and gusty winds. This afternoon, clearing out with a high of 21. Overnight, partly cloudy with a high of 10. That was your Daily Slice for Friday, February 27th of 2024. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group. Hosted by Amy Rose with Kevin Phillips. Executive producer Mark Houston. Engineered by Chris Jacquez. I'm Amy Rose. Have a great day.